I don't want to seem false. You know what I mean? Like this is not a testimonial. This is this is me telling the truth about a situation. The situation was I, I had a lot of thick hair, good hair. I uh, woke up one morning and it just like that overnight it was just starting to go. I mean a lot fast. It's just, you know you cut it low. You do the blending. You do everything else that everybody else does. You do everything you can do to make it look good because you're out in the public eye. And looks are a big deal. And then when I couldn't do that anymore. You start looking into wigs, you start looking into uh, uh, makeup, you start looking into highlighters and markers and whatever else you can do to get it to all go together and blend. And you start looking at your barber and asking to blend down just a little bit more, taper down just a little bit. And then one day I looked at my barber and he says, I can't blend it down anymore, there's nothing to blend to. You know, there's nothing there. And so, uh, you know, you still gotta go to work and you cut it all off, you shave it down, you know, you still look kinda good, you know. You go to work and then people are going, man, you had that good thick hair. What's up? You just change up your hairstyle? You want to tell them, you know, I'm going bald, losing my hair. It's part of life. It's natural. But the truth of it is your pride hits you, especially when everybody goes, oh, man, you had that nice long or whatever, you know. And then you just say, yeah, I'm just trying something new. I'm just trying something new. I'm just trying something new. And then one day you can't keep saying I'm trying something new. This is something old. It's 30 days in, 60 days in. It's, it's not new anymore. And uh, even you don't like the way it looks anymore. And you feel like there's nothing you can do about it, you know? Like somebody just took something from you. So I started looking around for something that I could do to get it back. One day I was at work, you know, and I was, they had a TV commercial going and Good Look Inc. comes on. I said, Good Look Inc. It caught me, Good Look Inc. I call in and they're personable, professional. I come in, they took good care of me right off. Let me look at you. Explain the process to me. Told me how they were gonna help me. And they did. I came out, had the procedure done, and I, I loved it right away. It wasn't a good look for me. It was my look, and it looked good. And I don't care, you know, what anyone has to say about it. Some people get their toenails done and their fingernails done. They go get the hair done. They get the earrings put in. Whatever they're gonna do to 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 get their look and look good. And I went to go get mine. And it was, it was genuine. Everyone has taken care of me from the moment I walked in that door. They treated me like friends. I just got back from a photo shoot, as a matter of fact. Uh, a lifestyle photo shoot for Good Look Inc. It went really well. They took good care of me, offered me you know, lunch, which they always do. Some people see you and your hair, your hair ain't right. You know, you're not in shape, or whatever the case may be, and you're not a person, you're less than, you're lower. And these people treat you like a person who just has a small little issue that's affecting you that they're gonna help you take care of. If I was to call in tomorrow and say, hey, look, I got a big scar, they say, okay, we'll take care of you. Right away, no questions, no problems. They have you come in, they do an assessment. This is what we gonna do. And then they get it done. Good Look Inc. right now is looking to make sure that all of us, his clients are taken care of. You're going to be their client, their product. And so they wanna make sure for each individual person, they have it down. And that's a big deal for me. They, they could easily blow up and take this everywhere else and treat you as one of the five or 10% of people who, oh, sorry, we couldn't help you, or sorry about the scars from your hair transplant, or sorry about this, or sorry about that. They don't want to be sorry. They want to be right the first time. And that, that's important for me as a client. As you can see, they got it right the first time. Some of us are a little uh, shy to say, you oh, know, I had this process done. You know, we've been shy and ashamed of our hair loss. Like it's something that's unnatural. There's no shame in hair loss. There is no shame in changing parts of your life. But if you want to do something about it, there is no shame in that either. There's no shame in that. Come in here and get a permanent solution that looks good, feels good, and is good. You get a good look from this. You get your look from this. It wasn't a good look for me. It was my look and it looked good.